The new AI Cambrian explosion. You've heard about the software AI revolution. Chatbots, image models, recommendation engines. But what if I told you this was just the warm-up act? The real show is coming, and it's physical. Remember Carl Sagan's warning from 1995? That the loss of manufacturing could erode a nation's power? Well, we traded factories for software, and now that software is building its own body. With embodied AI, machines are emerging from behind screens and entering the real world. These are physical robots, cars, drones, warehouse bots, robotic arms, driven by the same algorithms that write text and generate images for us. Why does this matter? Because once AI gets into bodies, everything changes. AI can listen, see, and even move under its own power. An organism instead of a virtual assistant. We're on the brink of an explosion of robotic life across industries. Motility matters. In biology, motility meant the birth of mobile life, like bacteria evolving flagella hundreds of millions of years ago. Today, embodied AI is doing the same thing, bringing autonomous, moving intelligences into our world. With speed and scale, no evolution could match. Electric vehicles, drones, delivery bots, these are just the start. The moment we pass autonomy in cars, we've unlocked it across transport, logistics, agriculture, and even defense. One breakthrough in a factory line robot and suddenly dozens of use cases open up. Imagine a machine that perceives its surroundings, learns from interactions, navigates physical spaces, and even manipulates objects. That's not sci-fi, it's already happening. Robots with vision, actuators, sensors, brains in the cloud, brains on custom silicon, they're learning to move like living beings, only faster and stronger. This isn't automation, it's a Cambrian-like explosion. A diversity of form factors. Warehouse arms, humanoids, inspection drones sprawling across every industry. And embedded in those robots is a national security dimension. Embodied AI isn't just commercial, it's strategic. Nations and companies will race to control these platforms like they did nuclear power or spacefaring rockets. What's fueling this? Massive market potential. Industries worth decatrillions. Logistics, transportation, energy, agriculture, manufacturing. And when software takes on atoms and photons, the payoff dwarfs the returns of pure play software. This is where the digital economy meets the physical economy, and it will redefine power, wealth, and society. A century ago, Edison flipped the switch on electric light and dramatically reshaped civilization. Today, embodied AI holds the same potential. Driveways became highways. Warehouses became robotic ecosystems. The machines are coming, and these aren't coded specters in the cloud. Their electrified motion incarnate. The race for photons. Let's talk about fish. Fat, fast, expensive fish. Imagine a 600 pound bluefin tuna swimming three miles offshore. You're stuck on land with no gear. That tuna is worth exactly zero to you. Now, give yourself a boat, a fish finder, and some top tier tackle. And suddenly, that tuna might fetch you $3.1 million at a Tokyo auction. What changed? Capability. That's the current race for vision data. The raw material for embodied AI isn't code, it's photons, real-world sensory data. Without it, your massive AI model is just flailing around like a fish out of water. So what happens when you can collect that data? When you have eyes everywhere, cameras on cars, drones, glasses, homes, suddenly your tuna's worth a fortune. Companies like Meta are betting big on this. Their sleek smart glasses aren't just trendy accessories, 
They're portable photon vacuums, recording your movements, hand gestures, environments. Millions of users unknowingly training robotic avatars in the background. This isn't about content creation, it's about simulation training. Every coffee you pour, every cabinet you open, every awkward handshake, data. Real-world input used to train embodied agents that will eventually move through the same spaces for you. It's biology, but digitized. Take the humble fruit fly, tiny brain, massive eyes, hyper-efficient flight. Those compound lenses, they pre-process vision data before it hits the brain. Tiny photon computers, no electricity required. That's what nature perfected over millions of years. Now imagine compressing millions of years of evolution into days using simulation. That's what Tesla and others are doing. Their robots dream in high fidelity simulations. Physics, thermodynamics, lighting, replicating our world with uncanny accuracy. When you drive a Tesla, you're not just getting from A to B, you're training its neural network. Each turn, break, and hesitation become part of a hyper-realistic digital twin of reality. The sim to real gap shrinks with every data point. And the better the simulation, the faster we iterate new physical skills. It's like having a billion robot interns trying every possible way to fold laundry or catch a ball, then transferring the best approach back to the real world. This is where compute meets muscle. And this is why embodied AI matters. You can't just throw a language model at reality and hope for the best. You need perception, feedback, physical repetition, context. In other words, you need a body. And just like that tuna, you can have all the data in the world. But until you build the tools to catch it, it's worthless. The winners of this race they won't just train better bots, they'll own the infrastructure for perception. They'll see more, simulate more, and move more efficiently. And once robots learn how to move in our world, the digital economy gets its hands and feet. How robots learn to move. Think of a pro athlete. An NBA point guard steps up for a free throw, takes a deep breath, and visualizes the perfect shot. Eyes closed, no ball, swish, pure muscle memory. That same trick works for tennis pros, Olympic swimmers, even pilots, and now robots. Only difference, when a robot dreams, it doesn't just visualize, it simulates physics, fluid dynamics, and photorealistic lighting. In a digital world where the lords of motion are constantly tested and improved. Every robot dream is data, and every simulation narrows the gap between thought and action. Tesla's vehicles, each one is both a mode of transport and a node in a massive simulation engine. Every drive is a training session for FSD. Every stoplight, pedestrian and parking lot is a frame in the training reel. You think you're just commuting? The AI sees a trillion dollar data refinery. This is the power of embodied learning. Robots that train themselves in a billion digital realities before touching a single doorknob in ours. And it's not just cars. Amazon's fulfillment centers are quickly morphing into robotic labs. In 2017, they had five humans per robot. In 2024, two. At that scale, Robots don't just fulfill orders, they create margin. Tens of billions of dollars in annual savings, and that's before they sell the tech as a service. Imagine, Amazon bot services, coming soon to a warehouse or startup near you. Meanwhile, Apple's playing the long game. Car project paused, maybe, but with CarPlay gaining access to internal and external camera feeds, the value of in-vehicle vision data is about to skyrocket. Apple's strengths, hardware, software, compute, sensors, supply chain, are perfect ingredients for embodied AI dominance. 
the car of the future? It's a rolling Apple store, a cinematic carbon fiber wrapped iPhone on wheels. And then there's Tesla. What's their moat? Not just one thing. It's a fortress of six interlocking advantages. Data, millions of cars, billions of real world driving hours. Robotics, in-house motors, actuators and humanoid forms. Energy, batteries and storage tech at industrial scale. AI, custom chips, dojo supercomputers and a world-class team. Manufacturing, vertical integration down to the screw. SpaceX, comms, redundancy and satellite reach. But Elon Musk says the real secret weapon, manufacturing, the ability to build the probe that collects the data, that trains the software, that improves the hardware, that builds the next-gen probe. It's exponential learning, embodied in metal and silicon. Cars were Tesla's lab, robots are the final exam. There are 1.2 billion cars on Earth, traveling about 12 trillion miles per year. That's 82 million human years of time spent in vehicles every year. That's not a market, that's a planetary force, and it's ready to be automated. And once it is, the car doesn't just become self-driving, it becomes self-aware. It collects, learns, and teaches without you ever touching the wheel. The great physical takeover. You've seen drones, but you haven't seen this. Elon Musk recently dropped a bombshell. China manufactures more drones in one day than the US does in a year. Let that sink in. This isn't just a tech race, it's a shift in military doctrine. In the age of AI, one operator with the right interface could control 100 autonomous drones in coordinated formation. Think, swarms, triple-like, redundant, adaptive, intelligent. With AI, they act as one, reshaping battlefields and rewriting defense budgets. The age of the drone swarm isn't coming, it's already buzzing overhead. And what about cities, roads, our skies? Take a moment the next time you're on a plane. Look down, count the roads, the driveways, the parking lots. See how much of our surface area is devoted to cars. Now imagine a sky filled with safe, smart, self-flying vehicles, all coordinated by AI. Goodbye traffic, hello, low altitude economy. With advances in electric motors, materials, battery storage and AI navigation, flying cars aren't sci-fi. They're logistics waiting to lift off. One EV stall could earn 10 times what an Uber driver makes today. SpaceX sees this too. Rockets are just vertical elevators to orbit. With reusable launches and satellite constellations, they're building the next-gen internet, one that connects every car, drone, ship, and house in real time. And with Starlink scaling revenues to $66 billion by 2030, it's not a moonshot, it's the new baseline. This is the embodied AI revolution. It starts in factories and fulfillment centers, places with fixed lighting, steady temperatures, and predictable tasks. Perfect training grounds. Then it spreads to homes, hospitals, airports, oceans, orbit. Why humanoids? Because the world was built for humans. Every light switch, doorknob, and toilet lever is human-sized. With over 8 billion humans providing training data every single day, humanoid robots aren't fantasy, they're practical. The economics? Wild. There are roughly 4 billion workers globally, earning about $10,000 a year on average. That's a $40 trillion labor market. One humanoid robot, costing a few grand to build and pennies to operate, could replace two human jobs. Do the math. Every 1% substitution in the US labor market could be worth over $300 billion. That's not a niche. That's the next industrial revolution. So what happens next? Morgan Stanley is already tracking the 
Humanoid 100, a map of companies building the sensors, actuators, lenses, batteries, and software to make robots walk, see, feel, and work. Its manufacturing meets AI, meets national security, meets economics. It's how we claw back industrial capacity, how we prove Carl Sagan wrong. This moment, this decade, is when history gets rewritten. The gap between atoms and code is closing fast. The digital world is spilling into the real one, and we're about to see machines that learn from us, move like us, maybe even become us. The embodied AI revolution isn't coming. It's already standing at your door.